How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Our first clip of the day was sent to us by user 5007Z. They said they had recently been hearing what sounded like someone running on the roof of their home in Thibodeau, Louisiana over the course of several weeks. They couldn't quite explain what was causing the noise. Then they got a notification from their home security system that movement had been detected. Take a look at what their camera caught. The camera overlooks their neighbour's roof where you can see a transparent figure run from right to left. The camera tries tracking the movement, but the figure disappears. So could this be the reason for the running sounds on the OP's roof? There's definitely something there as the camera is activated by motion and it even tries to track it, but just what it is remains a complete mystery. Hey gang, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode sponsored by Established Titles. Now it's awesome sponsors like these that allow us to keep making the content you know and love. Well, I'm officially now a Lord and you can become one too. According to a historic Scottish tradition, all landowners are called Lairds or Lords and Ladies in English. So even by buying just a small piece of property, usually around one square foot, you can consider yourself a Lord or Lady. Established titles issue title packs that give you a small piece of land on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland, and an official certificate that features a crest. Your unique plot number is registered on the certificate so you can locate your land with precision using their online locator. These make great last minute gifts. You can make a family member, partner or friend, a lord or lady with just the click of a few buttons. And what's awesome, not only do you become a lord or lady, established titles plant a tree with every order to help protect the pristine and biodiverse woodlands of Scotland. They work closely with non-profit organisations like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support reforestation initiatives. After you receive the certificate, you can officially change your name to feature lord or lady. And you can add it to credit cards, plane tickets, some even use it on their dating profiles. Now, the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using my special link down below, you'll be right near my plot. So get involved, become a lord or lady, and we can build a little slapped ham kingdom right there in Scotland. As I said, these make amazing last minute gifts. Now, Established Titles is running a huge early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code slapped ham, you get an additional 10% off your entire order. So head to establishedtitles.com forward slash slapped ham. That's establishedtitles.com forward slash slapped ham. Grab yourself that discount, get some gifts and support our channel. This next one was sent to us by one of our viewers, Raffaella. Raffaella works as a baker in Heracleion, a city on the Greek island of Crete. They were walking to their work at 4.30am when they stopped to take some photos of the moon. It was very early in the morning and the neighbourhood was empty. However, when our viewer reviewed their photos later that day, they were shocked by something in the picture. In the middle of the road, there appears to be a dark figure. Raffaella took a series of quick snaps of the moon, so there is a collection of photos all taken split seconds apart. And in each one, the figure looks a little bit different. In one, it looks almost transparent. In another, it even looks like it's running. And in others, it has long limbs. Then it looks thick and dark. The OP is certain no one else was around and has no way of explaining the strange figure's appearance in the photographs. If it was just a person, then why do they look so different in each snap taken only seconds apart? Crete is an island in the Mediterranean Sea with a rich history and culture. 
The island has been inhabited since the Neolithic era, and it's been home to many civilizations over the years. The Minoans, who lived in Crete from around 2600 BC to 1100 BC, were one of the most advanced civilizations of their time. They built great palaces and temples, and their art and architecture are still admired today. The Minoans also had a strong belief in the supernatural. They believed in gods and goddesses that ruled over different aspects of nature, and they believed that these deities could influence human affairs. Many of the temples and palaces on Crete were built to honour the gods and goddesses and to appease them. With this vivid history, it's little wonder that Crete is rich with ghost stories. One of the most famous haunted tales revolves around an old crumbling ruin on the southern coastline of the island. Frango Castello is a small village southwest of Heraclean. The Frango Castello fortress is said to be haunted by the ghosts of fallen soldiers. The soldiers were killed in a battle against the Turks in 1866 known as the Cretan Revolt. Visitors to the site claim they've seen shadowy figures dressed for battle or heard marching up the steps. But when they look around, there's no one ever there. Deathly screams in the middle of the night are said to be an almost common occurrence. Locals believe it's the spirits of the lost soldiers who never received a proper burial. In fact, the term Drosolites refers to a long procession of phantom soldiers that local residents claim to see every single year. The spectral phenomenon is rumoured to happen on the anniversary of the Bloody Battle of 1866. So could our viewer, Raffaella, have caught their own piece of history with this creepy set of photographs? Could this be a spirit of someone who died on the island long ago? Take another look at the images and decide for yourself. Amy Wilder Mosher, who sent us the following image, has lived in their home for over 20 years. Over that time, Amy says she's taken a large collection of photographs that may show evidence of the paranormal. Amy wanted to share this particular photo with our community over on Facebook. It was taken with an old camera in low light, so it is a little distorted. But in the image, you can make out what appears to be two faces peering in through the window. This was taken in Amy's kitchen, which, according to her, is the most spiritually active part of her home. For many years, Amy has believed that her home is haunted by some kind of spiritual activity. She says she's never touched a Ouija board because she doesn't want to encourage any negative energy in her home. She claims to have placed firm boundaries around her house to forbid anything evil from entering. Looking into the history of the property, Amy says that her home is built on land that used to house an old military depot back in World War I. She claims to have seen a few ghostly soldiers around her property as well. So what's to be made of these eerie faces peering in through the window? Could they be spirits that are warded off by the boundaries that Amy has put in place? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. This next eerie photo was submitted to an old ghost investigation forum called Science of Ghosts. One of their readers submitted the photo saying that they took it while travelling on a high altitude rail line that passes through the Qinghai Plateau in China, transiting from Lhasa to Beijing. It's a barren, frozen landscape some 4,000 metres above sea level with no sign of civilization in sight, except for the long line of train tracks stretching off into the distance. Eerily though, in the photo, you can see a strange shadowy person. The poster said they took the photo at the time to capture the icy tundra and didn't notice anyone outside of the train. They didn't see the figure until they reviewed the photo moments later. The uploader notes that they're standing extremely close to the passing train, which, according to them, was travelling at over 100 kilometres or around 62 miles per hour. They claim it would be almost impossible to stand that close to the speeding train and remain safe. It was also the middle of nowhere, so there shouldn't have been anyone around for miles. There is something eerie about this figure, all alone staring off into the endless frozen wasteland. Could this be a nomad that lives out there all alone and the poster just didn't notice them at the time? Or is there something more mysterious going on here? Love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Sigbins are mythical creatures that are said to inhabit the Philippines. 
They're believed to be evil creatures that come out at night time to feast on the blood of their unsuspecting victims. Sigbins are said to be able to walk backwards with their heads between their hind legs. Then they keep their balance with a long prehensile tail. Philippine locals who claim to have seen this elusive creature say it almost resembles a goat with long black ears. However, they're said to emit a foul odor. According to Filipino folklore, there are families who can control sigbins, commanding them to do their bidding. There are genuine logged sightings of these creatures, particularly in rural parts of the Visayan Islands, but some biologists believe it may just be a case of mistaken identity. They believe it may have been a kangaroo that escaped a local zoo enclosure. Well now, a Filipino YouTube channel called Tabiapo claims to have captured real footage of the mythical Sigbin. The clip begins with the YouTuber interviewing a local woman who claims to have encountered the beast while out chopping wood in the nearby jungle. She says it was a little after three in the afternoon when the beast approached her. It had bright red eyes and bared its teeth at her. She ran away and only narrowly managed to escape. The YouTuber then searches the nearby countryside for signs of the Sigbin. Eventually, while exploring a vast grassland plain, he comes across a strange looking animal that he claims is a genuine Sigbin. Take a look. It's a small, dark-looking animal with large ears. It skulks about in the grass. Before it scurries away out of sight. Unfortunately, we don't get a real good look at the animal as it never quite comes into focus. Some viewers think this is a sign that the whole thing's a hoax, but many believe this is the real deal. So what do you think? Have you ever heard of the legendary Sigbin? And do you think this sighting is genuine? Share your opinions with each other in the comments down below. Before we take a look at a seriously freaky shadow person sighting, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Our last eerie clip of the day was uploaded to Facebook by user Sarah Marie. The OP noticed a strange looking shadow in a house in their neighbourhood, so they decided to knock on the door to do a welfare check. Take a look at what happens. Watching that again, you can see the person going to knock on the door, right as a shadow zips past the front door multiple times. The camera holder says that there's no one in the house, but they can't explain the strange shadow flying back and forth. There's nobody in that house. There's nobody at all. Nobody. That I don't even know they can be that visible nah. though. This shit can't be real. Upon review, the shadow seems to be moving back and forth far too quickly for a normal person to be running around the house. Plus, the person that goes to knock on the door looks genuinely shocked when they see the shadow move up close. The uploader notes that just inside the door, there's actually a wall to the right hand side, which would make it impossible for someone to run back and forth like we see here. Towards the end of the clip, we also see the dogs start barking, almost as though they sense something's not quite right. <laughs> Thank you.
Naturally, this odd sighting has gone viral on Facebook with hundreds of people chiming in in the comments section trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. Some jokingly said it could be that McAllister kid from the Home Alone movies and that someone set up a cardboard cutout to fly past the window to scare away burglars. While a lot of people found this theory amusing, they couldn't get past just how eerie and fast the shadow is actually moving, suggesting that something paranormal is happening here. One commenter who claims to be a psychic said they get a male energy from this sighting and that a 23-year-old boy named Denarius passed away in the home. However, this information is yet to be verified. So what do you make of this freaky encounter? What could be casting such a fast-moving shadow inside of the home? I'd love to hear your take on this in the comments down below. <laughs> There's nobody in that house. There's nobody at all. Nobody. If you love mysterious videos like this one, then check out our other content. There's an episode there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained. Now, remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.